here we have an Italian Breda Model 37 heavy machine gun. This was Italy's primary heavy machine gun during World War II, and in fact was quite uh, a good weapon. It's quite reliable, relatively simple, and uh, didn't need the uh, oiler like a lot of the other uh, earlier Hotchkiss guns or even its smaller brother here, the Breda Model 30. Now the story is told to me was this particular gun was captured uh, during World War II off the coast of Italy. The Italian soldiers were basically harassing a U.S. ship, firing upon it. So U.S. ship swung its big guns around and lobbed a few off, which didn't hit the Italian soldiers, and didn't hit the gun, but it did scare them off. So they then took a small boat, took it to shore, and retrieved the gun, basically to take it out of service so it would no longer harass U.S. ships off the coast. And um, at that point, uh, one of the sailors brought it home after the war, and uh, then he sold that off to a private collector who then, uh, then sold it to uh, Dolph Goldsmith. So quite the neat little story, nice original CNR gun, so uh, let's check it out. Now to prepare the Model 37 for firing, first off, you've got two dust covers on the left and the right for the feed strip, feed slots. You can get your rear sight up. The charging handle is located on the right hand side here. Pull back, push it back to the front. It is an open bolt gun. You have your safety here, S and F. And when there's no feed strip in, you have a release lever here. And you're basically your firing paddle here on the spades is right here. And down she goes. The tripod's got relatively simple controls. Your elevation lever here is for major elevation moves. You tighten that up. Traverse, loosen this. You've got stops on either side. You can tighten this up. You've got fine traverse adjustments here and fine elevation adjustments here. This lever here is loosened and then it allows you to, to remove and install the gun onto the tripod. Let's tighten it up. This is your standard Breda 37 feed strip box. It holds 12 of the 20 round feed strips. This gun uh, originally is in uh, 7.9 Italian rebate. Um, this has been converted to 7.9 Mauser, basically 8mm Mauser. Now these 20 round feed strips, they're fed with the round facing down. You slide in. And these can be continuously fed one after another, nonstop, uh, with an assistant gunner. Okay, preparing to fire. Get the bolt back. Put your feed strip in, give it a good tap, take it from safe to fire. As you can tell, this gun feeds the fired cases back into the feed strip. Now this could be good and bad considering how you look at it, but most of the soldiers who had to refill these in the field, if they did not have the special loader, uh, they crushed it.
Now the Breda also had a quick change barrel, and I'll demonstrate that now. Bolts back. Lift up this lever. Barrel comes out. Interrupted thread. You get a new cool barrel. Slide it in. Down. Lever back down. And they did have a, a, a metal tool that went both sides to take this off and on uh, during battle. I just do not have that. This is a special uh, Breda M37 uh, feed strip loader. I'll open this up here. Show on the loader. Inside, you've got the handle. Slips on. Got the hopper. Shows which, which uh, way the bullet should go. Get your rounds. You can load the hopper up. Then you load your strip in. And it loads up fresh rounds. Now the Breda 37 did come with an anti-aircraft uh, setup for the tripod. It's carried in a box here with everything you need. Additional tripod legs, shoulder stock, anti-aircraft sides, front and rear, and an uh, extension ad adapter. So I'll demonstrate this next. To set the AA tripod up, first thing you got to do is remove the cradle. So you just loosen your elevation, turn this, it lines up with the corresponding, there's a corresponding square in the front. Lay this to the side, put the front legs on. Tighten those up. Bring these down. One. Get your adapter. Loosen this up. Two holes fit in two holes here. Tighten up. Now you'll notice we have another lever here which is similar to the cradle. Serves the same function. And I'll sandbag this down and we'll get the gun put on. Now with the gun securely mounted to the adapter, we can put on our front and rear AA sights. This has a little hole, a little uh, button here fits into a hole to line it up. Locks on. This is a little threaded wing nut, corresponding hole. Now you've got your AA sights. And all we have to do now is put on the uh, shoulder stock. Lift up the top cover and your shoulder stock slides down into a groove. Now you're ready to go. And now, with everything in place, if you were to 
your, your aircraft, which I don't have today either. But uh, this is how it would work. And we can do a few shots, I guess, more horizontally.